In this video, I want to show you how to return a value from a bottom sheet. You know, one of these guys, these bottom sheets that pop up. And by return value, I mean take a value from this bottom sheet and send it to the page over which the bottom sheet pops over. Now, why would you want to do this anyway? Well, of course, you can do this with local state variables, but this is just a faster and easier way to do it. OK, but why would you want to do it? Well, normally you'll use these for things like forms or for editing things, updating things on a page. So in our example here, we've got a fitness class. We've got the name here. And let's say that you are the teacher of this class, so you have access to renaming this class name. You're going to put in the new class name here, submit it, and it'll show up right here in real time. It only takes two steps, so let me show you how to do it. So before we can set up the returning the value, we have to have a bottom sheet. Bottom sheets are components, these guys in here. And so you can come in when you're in your components tab here and click over here to a new component. And we have all these pre-made bottom sheets right here. And so you could just grab one or you could make it yourself by dragging and dropping widgets on here, building one up. And let's say this friend here, you wanted to turn that one into it. You can just go and click here and convert it to a reusable component. And that could be your bottom sheet. OK, cool. And whenever you click on it, you'll jump over into the UI where you're just seeing the component itself. OK, so I've got one set up here, so that's great. So let's go back into our builder. And so we've got our bottom sheet already set up. So now just two steps. Here's our button that we're going to use to trigger our bottom sheet. So let's just add that. We're going to say bottom bottom sheet. And if you twirl this open, you can see show and dismiss. We want to show our bottom sheet. And you can see here is my bottom sheet component. So I'm going to grab that. And then down here is the only other thing we need to set up our action output variable name. That is to say, we're going to return a value. We're going to send a value from our bottom sheet. And that value is going to be dumped into a variable. And the name of that variable is whatever we put in here. So we're going to say bottom return. Awesome. That's the first step. Now let's go over into our bottom component. Let's go into our submit button and let's add an action. Once again, we're going to dismiss the bottom sheet. So we are going to hit dismiss. And here's what we have to do. We have to click this has value. So we're saying this bottom sheet dismissal has a value that we want to send out. We can say what type it is for us. It's just going to be a string. It's not a list. And if we want a specific value, that's something like right here. If we wrote in, you know, dog or whatever, it would return this value and it would dump that value into that bottom return variable we set up in the previous step. But we don't want it for this case. We want it from this input text field right here. So we want it from a variable that is a widget. So it's the widget state and enter new class name. That's that. And you can see we get this nice highlighting to tell us that's where it's coming from. That's wonderful. And that's it. But of course, we can't see anything yet because we haven't tied that value. So if we were to test this out right now, we could put it in there, submit it, and it would return it, but we couldn't see it anywhere. So let's actually bind this to our text right here. And so let's come in, let's set it from a variable and it's going to come in from an action output because remember we set up the action on our button. That's where we set up that bottom return value from that action. And so this is where it is and we see it right there and we get the nice highlighting to show us where this value is coming from. OK, bottom return. That's great. So let's test this out. And we get an error and the debugger is telling us that the error causing widget is the bottom widget. And that's like sort of true. Well, obviously it's true, but it's kind of confusing to trace because what's actually happening here is that we're setting this value here from an output from an action and we haven't done any actions yet. So this doesn't have any value right now, but we can easily change this and set a default variable name. And so we can just say, fitness class and confirm it. Now we don't have any null values there. And when we run it, it should run just fine. So we've got our default value of fitness class. 
We can see our bottom sheet, and we're going to call this Julie's class. And when we submit it, we can see it's updated right there. Let us know if you have any questions below or if there's any videos you would like to see us make. And we'll see you in the next video.